Thanksgiving is upon us, a time for family, wonderful food and gratitude. Well, hopefully. This time can be so beautiful, but I'm noticing a darker trend. Could compulsory consumption be the beginning of the end? You see, the day after Thanksgiving, there's this holiday shopping trick, a day of mass consumption right after giving thanks. So ironic. Perhaps it used to be more beneficial, but now it's just a mess. Retailers try to outdo each other, and I just end up stressed. And I admit, I used to buy into the hype, waiting in long lines for big ticket items to swipe. But now it seems so barbaric as I see stampedes in the news, people risking their safety for items they might not use. And it seems one day is no longer enough. These stores open earlier to try to sell more stuff. They spread out the deals to get you in the store. It's a vicious cycle. You buy more and more until you're left with piles of receipts and bags and maybe even debt. But what do you have to show for all the time and money you've spent? Was it for those you loved? Something they want or need? Or was it because you felt obligated to quench another's greed? Maybe I'm the exception, the one who doesn't belong, someone who doesn't care about the excess, but is that so wrong? Maybe for those who love gifts, it might be different for you, but for those who are like me, I have to speak the truth. I don't need or want anything, no gifts under the tree. I'd rather spend time and create memories with family. I appreciate the gesture, but this gift will clutter up my home. Pay it forward instead, rather than giving to me alone. I have so much to be thankful for and could ask for nothing more. Even so, the most important things can't be purchased in a store. See, I think with this stuff we tell ourselves a lie, that the happier we'll be the more we continue to buy. You see, consumption is not the problem, only when pushed to excess. We're conditioned by the media to equate stuff with success. And don't even get me started on the side effects our stuff creates. Toxic pollution, poor working conditions, and excess waste. No guarantees for fair wages for workers in China or Bangladesh. And eventually everything, yes everything, ends up in the trash. What's the point of collecting so many things you might use someday? Filling up a basement or a storage unit of stuff that's just in case. A lifetime of items move from place to place until you move on and your children throw things away. You see, my dream home is a smaller and simpler house without boxes in the basement or stuff crammed on every shelf. Too many items can overwhelm us and make it tough to see what kind of life we wish to live and who we want to be. It's tough to stop accumulating excess and I'm not there just yet, but I'm seeking a life with abundance a life without regret. All I'm asking is that you rethink your decisions, push past society's expectations, to decide what items, if any, you actually need, and if it's worth the stress, the hassle, even the lack of sleep. Perhaps stay home, buy nothing, create memories that count, because possessions don't matter when our time runs out. No need to go to a store or mall, Maybe this year, instead of gifts, let's give love to all. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked what you saw, I'd love to have you here as a subscriber at Abundantly Minimal. If there's anyone you know who you think might benefit from this message, I'd love for you to pass this forward and continue the conversation. Have a great holiday. Bye.